I wanted to come on and talk with you guys about gray hair. So first things first, I know you're wondering why I have on this bandana. I am on my way to an appointment. It's very humid outside and my nice and beautiful, freshly relaxed hair has gotten nice and frizzy from the humidity. So I use my scarf to lay it down until I get to my destination. Just because you're relaxed doesn't mean that you don't fight humidity and fight the battles that everybody else does. Secondly, if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Please don't forget to also thumbs up this video as you guys come in and be ready to type in the chat. Good morning, Grasshopper. My girl be on early, y'all. My girl don't play. Let me see if I can find my little tripod. Thing. I had another tripod and I have no clue where it went. Anyhow, so today's discussion is going to be all about gray hair and natural hair and understanding the difference between gray texture and virgin natural hair texture so when i say virgin natural hair texture i mean hair that is natural but it is not gray so there is a difference between the two but at the same time there is not a difference between the two so i'm going to tell you why i say that the reason why i say there's a difference between the two is some gray hair has a different texture the reason why I say it's also not a difference between the two is because gray hair grows. So it's not a hair color, it's an actual texture of hair that grows. Once the age of the follicle matures or the follicle matures or your genetics are different, your chromosomes change at a certain point in life, you can start to produce what we call gray hair. Usually gray hair will come about 90 to 95% of the time with its own texture. And when I say its own texture, meaning you can literally pick out the gray hair from the pepper here. You can pick out the salt from the pepper. If you understand what I mean, put some purple hearts in the chat. If you understand what I mean when I say you can pick out the salt from the pepper hair, put some purple hearts in the chat. Okay. Now, Gray hair is, there's a very big misconception for clients. If you're not in the hair world, of course you'd never understand. So this is the reason why I have ordained you guys as pros because I try to teach you guys the things that stylists typically need to learn when they're working with clients. Gray hair is not a color. While it is sold as a color now, Gray hair is a texture that grows in the color gray, meaning the pigment is now obsolete, meaning you no longer have that natural color pigment in your hair. That hair is basically what we call a level one versus your natural hair as African Americans, unless you're albino, unless you have some form of genetics in you where your hair color is different, we typically come out with our hair, I said a level one. Gray hair is a level 10, I'm sorry, I said that backwards. Gray hair is a level 10. Our natural hair typically is a level two, three, or sometimes even a four, okay? Our natural hair color before we go gray typically comes out a two, three, or a four. If you guys notice, I did not say a level one. You know why? Level one is solid black. Unless you have some form of Oriental, Chinese, Vietnamese, Korean, um, Japanese, your hair does not come out solid black. Solid black is a color. It does not grow solid black. Your hair typically will grow in a off black or a brown or a sandy brown. And depending on where you live, your sandy brown can be a high warm sandy brown or a low cool sandy brown, okay? So with gray hair, I usually get clients that come in and say, hey, how can I get my get rid of this gray hair? You cannot. You can color it for temporary purposes, but you cannot stop that gray hair from growing. It is now gray, it grows gray, and the moment you put color on the exposed hair, once that follicle grows out, it is going to grow out gray. So there's no real way to ever get rid of gray hair. Now, the difference between gray hair and I always say virgin natural hair, I'm gonna say virgin natural hair, is gray hair is more stubborn. Gray hair typically requires a lot more moisture than the pepper, 
okay so the salt in the pepper when we say salt and pepper we mean black and silver black and white black and gray the salt hair typically is more resistant than the pepper hair the pepper hair is virgin natural hair it is easy to color it's typically the easiest to control whereas gray hair is very it can be very coarse in texture it can be very difficult to color gray hair is actually one of the coarsest textures of hair in the entire world no matter if you're japanese or not gray hair in its own texture can be one of the most resistant and most coarse types of hair on the planet so gray hair your typical complaint with gray hair the typical question with gray hair is how do i moisturize this gray hair why is it so dry my gray hair my gray hair is always super straggly my gray hair is always wiry in texture if that is one of your normal complaints and you are dealing with salt and pepper hair or even just salt hair put some blue hearts in the chat for me if you are one that is dealing with something like this nature put some blue hearts in the chat for me and i know a lot of you are because a lot of my elite pros are mature ladies so i expect them to tell me because even your girl has gray hair in weird places so i expect you guys to all be on the same part and i'm gonna put a nice blue heart because all of the gray that i have is a different texture nice and coarse might not be dry but nice and coarse i promise you all right so when you're dealing with gray hair or you're dealing with salt and pepper hair your hair regimen will sometimes be two different things and i'll tell you the reason why you can be low porosity gray you can be high porosity gray you can be low and high porosity salt and pepper you can be low porosity salt and pepper you can be high porosity salt and pepper high porosity typically you have some form of chemical service meaning you have a relaxer or a um, texturizer, right? And then for those who are typically low porosity, gray, salt and pepper, whichever color, you're typically still in your natural form. You have not used any form of chemical processing on your hair. So that is typically, like in a nutshell, the difference between the two. So we're gonna talk a little bit about low porosity gray hair because high porosity, you're gonna treat that hair just as you would if it was any form of relaxer your choice your, your treatment is not going to change when you have relaxed high porosity silver and white silver white black and white salt and pepper whatever it is not going to technically change because you are going to be treating your hair as relaxed hair versus treating it as gray relaxed hair okay so we're going to focus more on the low porosity side because you guys are the ones that struggle the most you guys are the one that deal with the most complaints my hair is super dry my hair is super coarse it doesn't hold moisture and then when you add that silver to it now or that salt to it in regards to salt and pepper you start noticing that it is even more wiry you can count your grays you can literally point to each individual strand sometimes which is normal. It's very, very normal, you guys. So let's talk about moisturizing that low porosity gray hair. Now, we all know how to moisturize low porosity hair. I think I've taught you guys that more than enough times. But when we're talking about moisturizing low porosity gray hair, you are going to be moisturizing a little bit more than others. Okay, and when I say you're gonna be moisturizing a little bit more than others, because your hair is a lot more resistant. Your hair is more coarse. Your hair is a little more, um, needs a little more TLC because you now have two different textures of two different color to maintain. So number one, if you don't already have a violet-based shampoo in your arsenal for your salt and pepper hair, I highly recommend that you get one. It doesn't need to be be anything extravagant but it needs to be a violet based shampoo reason being is salt and pepper hair typically runs that risk of changing colors when it comes on to the salt and when i say changing colors i mean picking up environmental changes just the sun can tint the color of your gray okay so this is an added bonus this is a pro tip violet based shampoos help to tone out unwanted tones unwanted meaning yellow yellowy brown 
yellowy green colors, right? Now, if you're one that likes to color your gray hair with semi-permanent colors, you run the risk of your hair being more green. So you need to have a red-based shampoo, okay? That is how you neutralize the green, but we'll talk about that on another video. I just wanted to give you guys a pro tip. So let's talk about this violet-based shampoo. How do you use it and when do you use it? So when it's time for you to do your moisture treatment, it's time for your wash day. I hope you guys have your pen and paper. If you got your pen and paper, put a purple heart in the chat for me because you're gonna definitely need to write this down. If you have your pen and paper, put a purple heart in the chat for me. And yes, this live will be saved. This live will be able to be shared with your mom, your aunt, your grandma, sister, cousin, whomever. But I wanna make sure you guys have your pen and paper to be writing down this regimen that I'm about to hand out for the free ski, for the free 99. So number one on your list of items that you need to have is a violet-based color shampoo a violet based colored shampoo. So that's number one on the list. Number two, you need to have an intense moisturizing treatment. You guys noticed that I said, I didn't say shampoo yet. I said treatment. You need to have a moisturizing treatment, a deep penetration moisturizing treatment, such as the Moist Me 24 karat mask. That is a deep penetrating mask that will coat the cuticle or coat the hair shaft and allow that moisture to be introduced to that very dry, stubborn follicle. Number three, you need to have a processing cap. You need to have a processing cap. The processing cap is going to be needed when it's time for you to do your moisturizing treatment. And we are talking about salt and pepper hair here, low porosity. So you need to have your processing cap. Okay, number four, your hair dryer, which is a hooded sit under hair dryer and a hair steamer. You should have both. Especially if you are low porosity and salt and pepper or if you are just low porosity period. The reason why I say you need to have both is the only way to open the cuticle on low porosity hair for your hair to take in any of that goodness from those products that you are putting on, it needs heat. Heat is the only way to open the cuticle and by heat I mean steam, not a flat iron, not a blow dryer. You need steam. So if you're under a hooded dryer using a processing cap, that is called a dry steam. Okay, I call that dry steaming. You are putting a processing cap over the head. You're going under the dryer, the heat from the dryer hitting the processing cap. Inside the processing cap is starting steam. That's how that works. If you are doing a deep penetration moisturizing treatment with the Moist Me 24 karat mask, and you want to do a deep penetration hydration, then you will need your hydration steamer. A lot of you already have our handheld hydration steamer, which is perfect for this. If not, you can definitely invest in a regular steamer, one that you can set on your counter and be able to still do your deep penetration hydration treatment. Okay, so that was number four. That was number four. Let's do a little, a little review real quick. Who can tell me what number two on the list was? What is number two, item number two, on the list of things that you should have in your arsenal for moisturizing that salt and pepper hair? Who can tell me what number two is? Number two. While you're getting the answer for number two, we're gonna move on to number five. Number five, you need to have your moist repair, sulfate-free shampoo. Moist Repair Sulfate Free Shampoo. Okay? Moist Repair Sulfate Free Shampoo. Now, what is the difference between having sulfates and not having sulfates? Sulfates can be very drying to the hair, which is another reason why we switched all of our shampoos to sulfate free. 
we have switched all of our shampoos to sulfate free. The reason why we did that is because we don't want to add dryness to the ethnic hair. We want to increase the moisture content in your ethnic hair and prevent, or pre, um, excuse me, prevent from you having excessively dry hair, right? We want to prevent that. Prevention is better than cure. Right now we're talking about cure, but prevention is always better than cure. So I'm teaching you guys how to prevent having those hard days of, oh my gosh, my hair is super dry and brittle, and now it is shedding like crazy. And thank you guys for those of you that answered the review question. The answer is number two is the Moist Me 24 karat mask. That is the answer to number two on our list. So number five, you want to have your Moist Repair shampoo, sulfate free. The Moist Repair is going to prime the hair up for your moisturizing treatment. Some people get it very confused. They think that all you need to do is use conditioner and conditioner alone is gonna change your life. Unfortunately, that is not how it works. You need to clean the hair and begin the treatment from the shampoo. You don't clean the hair and begin the treatment from the conditioner. And a lot of you like to co-wash and think that co-washing is gonna change your life. Co-washing is good for temporary purposes. But for those of you that like to co-wash or like to leave conditioner on your hair, that is also adding more dryness to the hair. That is product abuse. That is also a form of product buildup, and it is not going to do any good for you to leave that product on your hair longer than that 15 to 20 minutes. All you are doing is creating an atmosphere of even drier hair. Another pro tip for you guys. All right, so number five was our Moist Repair Sulfate Free Shampoo. Number six, you need to have a wide tooth comb. A wide tooth comb. I cannot stress this anymore. When you guys are doing your wash day, for those of you, hello father, hey daddy. For those of you that love tangling because I don't want to lose another strand of hair. Okay, run that comb through your hair, detangle your hair properly, distribute your conditioner, Ensure that you are stimulating blood flow through that scalp. You cannot get that through finger detangling. And number th number two of that whole point, that's nasty. You are basically telling me that you are so scared of losing one strand of hair that you won't comb through your head. We are all adults. That's middle schoolers. That's Those ooches and owls are ridiculous. Use that wide tooth comb and detangle your hair on wash day. You should be detangling your hair almost every day. I can't even say that more than enough. You should be tangling, detangling your hair almost every single day. There's no excuse for it. So during your wash day, when you have that Moist Me 24 karat mask on your hair and you've now done your steam treatment or your dry, your dry heat treatment, then you can detangle your hair after because now you've made the hair a little more pliable. The elasticity has now changed. The hair is more pliable when it's wet. Ha, huh, let me say that again. Use the wide tooth comb and detangle your hair. I need everybody who understood point number six to put a purple and blue heart in the chat because some of y'all need to stop it. I need purple and blue hearts. And I know a lot of you are guilty it's okay, we're not pointing no fingers, but we, well, now you know, now you learn. Thank you, Grasshopper. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Pam. Thank you, everybody in there. Marie, thank you, everybody. Okay? Number six is very important, you guys. Very important. Stop the finger detangling. It's okay if you have a little tangle here and you don't want to pull the comb through it. Then you can pull it out with your fingers. But there's no absolute reason why your entire wash day consists of a finger detangle. How are you going to be able to distribute this product over the hair? How is each strand going to be coated? How are you stimulating blood flow if you are not using that comb or even detangling brush? Because I know a lot of you have our four-piece detangle me kit. How are you able to distribute any product if you, you are naturally going through the hair? Okay, so that was number six. That was number six. Review question. 
What was number four on our list of things we should have? What was number four on our list of things we should have for our salt and pepper hair? What was number four? All right, number seven, number seven. This one gets mixed reviews because some people have the belief that it dries the hair out more. Others have the belief that it helps the hair. I'm gonna tell you my belief. My belief is it helps the hair and I'll tell you why. Number seven. Elite Clarify Shampoo. Elite Clarify Shampoo. Why? Because you need to cleanse the hair and the scalp before you treat the hair and the scalp. Thank you guys. Hair dryer, hair steamer. That was number four. So for number seven, you need to have the Elite Clarify. That is going to cleanse the hair and the scalp before you treat the hair and the scalp. Now, the reason why I started number seven and said that it sometimes gives mixed reviews. Hold on, you guys. Hold on. All right, you guys, I'm back. Sorry, I had to take that call. All right, so number seven, and why I was saying the reason that people have mixed feelings is because most clarifying shampoos strip the hair of its natural oil. That is the purpose of a clarifying shampoo. Clarifying shampoo is supposed to strip the hair of all dirt, debris, and objects, right? But the difference is with Elite Clarify, we have formulated it that it does not strip the hair of all its natural oils. It actually leaves behind some of those natural oils, all while still taking care of the hair and the scalp and preparing it for your treatment. So I like to use um, scenarios or, or whatever you want to call them. I can't think of the word right now. My mind is blank. But I like to give you guys examples of what I mean. Whenever you get a cut, whenever you get cut, or you have a boo-boo, do you automatically run and get the A&D ointment and put it on the cut with the blood everywhere? 
or do you go you wash the area you clean it off with a little peroxide maybe a little alcohol you wash it with a little soap and water you pat it dry and then you add your a and d ointment your triple antibiotic ointments your band-aid or whatever right so that is the same thing when it comes on to hair care you want to start with a clean surface first and then you're going to treat the area you cannot treat an area with dirty stuff while it's dirty you can't treat the area while it's dirty i said that backwards okay that is also another the reason why i tell you guys co-washing is okay but co-washing is not a full wash day co-washing is not a full wash day co-washing is not a full wash day did i say that co-washing is not a full wash day let me say that again co-washing is not a full wash day co-washing is putting lotion on top of lotion and calling yourself clean that is co-washing co-washing is putting lotion on top of lotion and calling yourself clean okay just so we know just so we're all on the same page <laughs> Co-washing is not a wash day. All right, so I'm going to make a quick call while you guys are on my live. Hold on a second, please. I'm going to mute you. Calling you. Here. Okay, LRB says co-washing is not clean, is not a clean washing. Co-washing is not cleaning. Co-washing is conditioning the hair with conditioner and you're rinsing it off. That is not washing. So that's like you're in the shower and you're bathing with lotion. You're in the shower bathing with lotion. Good morning, girls. Good morning. How are you? Mom. Co-wash, put the phone back there for me is you are bathing with lotion. You guys ever heard the term co-washing? No. Conditioner want, washing. Why would you want to bathe with lotion? Man? Okay, so when someone says co-washing, that means that they are washing their hair with conditioner only. Oh, that's not washing your no. hair. That's not washing that's your not hair. Washing okay, your so my two little people, my two little privileged people got in the car and they don't even know what co-washing is. You know why? Because I do not co-wash their hair. I think it's weird. I think it doesn't make any sense unless you work out. Unless you work out, that's when it makes sense. So even my little privileged children can tell me that that doesn't make any sense. That's nasty. You know why? Because you should be washing your hair with soap. LRB says, what type of shampoo for number one? Violet-based shampoo, a violet-colored toning shampoo. We are already working on a formula for a violet toning shampoo. So we will soon have one coming from Elite for all of my gray hair people. Your grandpa said hi. Hi. Okay. Oh, you guys have masks? This one, I have one. Alex, you have one? I think I have one. Okay. Okay. So we already got through number one through seven. What was number seven on the list, guys? What was number seven on the list? What was number seven on the list? I think they'll give you one. Okay. What was number seven? Number seven. In the meantime and between time, I'm gonna give you guys a pro tip about my gray hair or salt and peppers because I want I know you guys want to know when to use the violet-based shampoo. What steps to do what and what? Okay. 
on wash day step number one is going to be to clarify the hair step number one is clarify okay so if you guys wrote down numbers one through seven i'm going to give you the steps in order by number so number seven is step one okay so you should be clarifying first you should clarify first number two is going to be number six which is your moist me no i'm sorry number five actually which is your moist me your moist repair blah, moist repair sulfate free shampoo so number two is going to be your moist repair sulfate free shampoo so you're going to clarify first and then you're going to go into your treatment shampoo number three can be a repeat of number two if you choose number three is optional it is a repeat of number two if you choose meaning repeating your moist repair shampoo a second time so that would be a total of three shampoos only if you choose to if it's needed some clients i do three shampoos some clients i do two two would be clarify and moist repair some i do three clarify moist repair moist repair now if you have dry itchy scalp before you do step number one, this is also optional. You can use our Soothe and Balance Dry Itchy Pre-Treatment. That is if you have dry, itchy scalp. A lot of my salt and peppers, because you are dealing with that form of hair, typically dry and itchy is a part of your life. So you can use our Dry Itchy Pre-Treatment, which is our Soothe and Balance. You can use that in front of step number one. So you can say that's step zero. It's optional all right step number four step number four is now when you are going to use your violet based shampoo to help tone the hair okay step number four is when you'll use your violet based shampoo if you guys notice i put step number four last the reason why i put step number four last in the shampoo process is because if you tone with a violet based shampoo at the beginning and then you go and use a shampoo that has any form of color to it like the moist repair you're going to go back and add color to the hair so you want to tone it after the fact okay you're actually going to use that shampoo sometimes twice sometimes twice all right step number five step number five is going to be your moist me 24 karat mask Step number five is when you're gonna use your Moist Me 24 Karat Mask. Step number five is also when you're gonna determine if you wanna use your dry hooded dryer or you wanna use your hydration steamer. If you do a hydration treatment this wash day, then next wash day you should do a processing cap and your hooded dryer and alternate, okay? You don't need to do hydration, 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 intense hydration, intense hydration, more intense hydration, no. You want to alternate. You cannot keep giving the hair the same thing every single time and expecting a different result. No, you want to give your hair different alternative or alternatives of your regimen. So you want to make sure that your hair is not getting stagnated or used to whatever it is that you're doing. That's why you switch it up. That is why you switch it up. What step was I on now? That's number five? I think so. Okay. Number six. Number six. You are going to go back if need be, and you can do a very quick, very quick and light shampoo using your Violet Bay shampoo. But very quick, meaning you put it on, you let it sit for a minute or two, you rinse it off. If you choose to do step number six, which is an optional step, you will go back again with step number five, which is the Moist Me 24 Karat Mask. You'll put a little bit on the hair, but you'll use it as an instant conditioner. This is going to soften the hair. It is not going to be for hydration. It's not gonna be for moisture. This is if you choose to do another toning shampoo. This is when you're going to go and use the Moist Me as an instant conditioner to soften the hair. Number six is also optional. Number six is optional. And so is number seven when I said do an instant condition. That is also optional, okay? All of these are optional at that point. Number eight, once you have finished completing or completed your conditioning treatment, you are going to use your wide tooth comb and you are going to detangle your hair. That is the reason why I mentioned a detangling comb. 
That's the reason why we set a detangling comb. Okay? And then there's things that I did not mention that we're going to add to the arsenal. So at the end of your entire wash day, of course, you are going to add your leave-in conditioner. Leave-in conditioner meaning the moist repair. Now, if your natural hair tangles easily or is extremely coarse, then you can use the Hydra Strength because that has quick detangling properties in it. It will help to detangle but also hydrate the hair. So you can use either or, the Moist Repair or the Hydra Strength. They birth, birth. They both work very well. Okay. Lastly, if you are going to now start treating your scalp, you can either go into our Super Growth Serum or our Goddess Hair Repair Serum, and you will finish off by adding a small amount to the scalp, massage it in, and then you'll start your styling process, period. I just gave you guys the entire arsenal of what to do for your salt and pepper hair to be moisturized. Now, how often should you do this? If you are dealing with a teeny weeny afro, a TWA, you are probably going to wash your hair once every seven days. Why? Because TWAs are closer to the heat zone. You perspire more. That hair is not long enough where you can literally go two weeks and not wash it. It technically has to be washed because it is so close to the heat zone. It's so close to the areas where you sweat the most. Okay? For those of you that have longer hair, then your wash day will be every two weeks or every seven to four, no, 10 to 14 days. You're not at seven, 10 to 14 days. Okay, 10 to 14 days. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Hello. All right, you guys. So I hope everybody got all of their information mm -hmm. written down. What number do you use a 24 karat mask? Mm -hmm. So that would be number five. Mm -hmm. That would be number five. Wait. One. Run away. Clarifying. Mm -hmm. Two, three, yes, four. Yep, that would be number five after your violet okay. based shampoo. But remember, the violet based shampoo is optional. Okay. It's okay. optional. It is optional. I'm at the stoplight, guys. So if anybody has a question, you can definitely ask really quickly in regards to what we're discussing right now. Violet-based shampoo, shampoo, yes, sometimes twice. They also have violet-based conditioners. My, my thought process on violet-based conditioners is they have no purpose because it's not enough violet pigment in them to make a difference. That's the reason why you guys did not hear me mention violet-based conditioner. They do make violet-based conditioner, but I strongly feel that they don't have a lot of pigment for it to make a difference. All it's doing is hydrating the hair. You guys want Chick-fil-A or McDonald's? Chick-fil-A, Chick please, please. So that's a reason why I don't recommend um, violet-based conditioners and why you guys don't hear me mention them because number one i feel that they don't have enough pigment to make any form of a difference it is the shampoo that makes all the difference lrb to make an appointment you go to elitehaircareusa.com keep in mind the schedule opens on the 15th of every month for the following month so if there's no appointments available for July, the August calendar will open this coming July 15th. That's how my calendar works. How long should the dry to the violet shampoo stay in the hair? It really depends on the company. That's number one. And it depends on how much you're trying to tone out. Um, if you use shimmering lights, I call that violet crack. Shimmering lights tells you to leave it for up to five minutes. Well, let me tell you something. Shimmering lights for five minutes can leave your hair purple. Shimmering lights for five minutes can leave your hair purple.
would you recommend the same things in the same order for relaxed hair no relaxed hair is different we're gonna do a different live for relaxed hair relaxed hair does not need so much moisture if anything you're gonna make it heavy and give yourself moisture overload there is also a such thing as moisture overload for low porosity hair you ever heard of that no you guys never heard of that moisture so overload I don't like, like you put too much in your hair you're, you're moisturizing too much too often too soon is that bad yes it is then all of a sudden you start noticing that your hair is always oily it's very heavy it seems to have like a build up on it that's why you don't do that no, no. i don't even allow you guys to play in your hair that much <laughs> you don't play in your hair at all Molly. Okay. <laughs> Do I have a violet based shampoo that I recommend? As of right now, yes. Um, you can use Pravana Perfect Blonde. That you can get on Amazon. I think you can also get it in like Ulta and those different places. Um, Elite will have a violet based shampoo coming soon. We're in testing phase right now. So it's not something that I'm going to say, oh yeah, we have it. Here you go. No, but we're in testing phase right now. But in the meantime, you can use Pravana Perfect Blonde or um, No Yellow is another one from Fanola. F-A-N-O-L-A, Fanola. They make one called No Yellow. It's a, it's a violet-based shampoo, but it's called No Yellow. They also have one called No Orange. Typically, when we are lifting black hair and trying to get it to lighter browns or lighter blondes, we have an orange pigment that comes before we get to blonde. And Fanola makes no orange as well. And it's a blue-based shampoo. But you want no yellow. It's a violet-based shampoo. These are also professional products that you guys hear me recommending. Just so we're all on the same page. Most people on, on the typical day will not use Fanola, will not use Pravana because it's typically for stylists. But they are available in retail version. They are available in retail version. So as Elite Pros, because you guys know Elite Hair Care products are professional products available in retail. I'm okay with offering you guys professional strength product for your violet based shampoos too. You don't need shimmering lights. You don't need the shimmer and lights. Use Pravana Perfect Blonde or Fanola No Yellow. My hair is growing since I've been using your product. Thank you. Uh, Dad, he's with Ms. Rosin. He's at the babysitter. Can we use the old Elite Clarifying Shampoo? Absolutely. Absolutely. I'll just give him my wallet and nothing else watching you watching you even closer it's David. all right you guys so if you have any questions now is definitely the time to ask real quick in regards to what we're discussing don't touch nothing in my heart. in regards to what we're discussing right now now is the time to ask no no girl Hey, how are you? Good. Can I have an APU order? Crystal. Crystal? Y'all want the bowl and all that stuff? Please, please, please. You want the bowl? Girl, what can I get for you, mama? I'm going to get the eight-piece nugget. The meal? You want a meal with the hash brown? There's no, there's no fries so early, right? You can. It's going to be like a little five-minute wait. What time is it? lunch menu? No, we'll get, do you get either hash browns or none. None. Okay, just the eight count. Okay, what kind of sauce? Pollination. All right. Um, a small Dr. Pepper. Okay. A small, small, a chicken scramble bowl, no cheese. Times two, I'll take two. Chicken scramble? Mm-hmm. No cheese. What kind of drink you want, Alex? Um, and two small sweet teas. I mean, can I get a honey mustard as well? Okay, any other sauces? No, thank you. All right, so I have an eight count nugget, Polynesian sauce, a small Dr. Pepper, a chicken bowl, two of those with no cheese, a small sweet, two small sweet teas, and honey mustard. Yes. All right, 1983.
the system so <laughs> slow right now. It's okay. Okay, there it is. All right, Miss Crystal, have a good day. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, you guys. You guys are super welcome. Go, you guys. Take your tips. Do your thing. I know a lot of you already have a lot of these products already. So great. If you don't have these products already and you use code YouTube20, you can get 20% off your first order by going to EliteHairCareUSA.com. Ooh. All right, you guys, there you go. We got 45 minutes worth of good information. Can I get some purple hearts? Can I get some purple hearts? I need everybody to give me some purple hearts because I just gave out some good information. Put that in there. Purple hearts, please. Purple hearts. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Dad. Thanks, Grasshopper. All right, you guys, have an amazing Monday. I know it's Monday, but have an amazing Monday, and I'll see everybody in the next video. Peace.